I have a project set up here and this project has the free autos, files and folders, everything included and the project is ready to go and use the free autos features. I have my skeleton main file here with this main function with an infinite loop. Uh, this function basically does nothing. So if I want to use the free autos, the first thing that I want to do is include the free autos.h header file. And I go ahead and do that. Include free autos.h. And um, if you want to create a task or delete a task or other task related functions, then you need to include another header file called task.h. So I'm going to go ahead and include that as well. Include task.h. And um, I will create my first task here, but uh, every task that we create will need to have a corresponding task handler. So I have to create another task handler as well where the the type for the task handler is a task handle underscore t and I will give it a name. I will call it my task one handle and I initialize with the value null. And I can go ahead and create my first task. Uh, a task looks more like a function where the output parameter is going to be a void. Then I give it a name. I will call it my task one, and the input parameter has to be pointer to a void. And I need to have my infinite loop inside. So this is a very basic structure of a of a task. Now inside my main, I have to declare that this task is going to be a it, it, it is actually a task that can be identified by the free autos kernel. So to do that, I need to use a function called uh, x task create. And um, this function has a bunch of parameters that I need to know. The first parameter is going to be the, the task itself. So the function, uh, the pointer to the function, which is my task one. I need to have that here. The second parameter is going to be a name that I'm using to identify this task. So I can just call it D1 or task1. The third parameter is going to be a stack size. So for this task, I'm going to use, let's say, 200. Um, if you use two less of a stack size, you might end up having a stack overflow. And if you use too high of a value, you might just unnecessarily waste resource in the RAM. So you have to just have an approximate idea or at least do some debugging and find out how much of, of a stack your task is using and then you can assign the value accordingly. The fourth parameter is going to be the pointer that uh, through which you want to pass your, your parameters. So if, if you want to pass some parameters that can be extracted through this pointer P, you can just pass them through here in the fourth parameter. So for now, since I'm not using anything, I'm just going to use zero. The fifth parameter is going to be the task priority. So it can be zero for the default, one, two, or you can just increase it if you want to increase the task priority. But I like to use a preprocessor variable called a task idle priority. So which is task idle priority. Uh, this preprocessor variable is declared inside task.h. So if you look into the, the file task.h, you can see it has task idle underscore priority and the default value is zero. If you want to increase your task priority, you can just add one to it or two to it if you want. And the sixth and last parameter will be the corresponding handler that you want to assign to this task. So if I want this task to have this handler as its corresponding handler, then I just use the address of it as my sixth parameter and the same code. So this is how you create a task. And once I'm done creating the task, I want to run the scheduler. And I have to use the function called vtask start scheduler. Okay, and this will go ahead and start running the scheduler. I mean, I mean this will go ahead and start running the task function that you are creating. Now inside my task one, what I want to do is uh, I wanted to print something. I wanted to print um, hello world and um, I also wanted to print a number that increments every one second. So it's going to be uh, D and I will call the variable as count which increments every one second. Let me initialize the value count with the zero and in my infinite loop, since I wanted to 
increment every one second i need to introduce a delay and the free out of delay function is called vtask delay and i will use 1000 for 1000 milliseconds this is one second delay so let's go ahead and let's run the program and see how it works so my output is going to be displayed here uh, okay I, I think i know what the problem is i need to have a end command or it just doesn't print anything so let me rebuild it okay yeah there you go let's start printing hello world zero one two three and so on and um, <clears throat> let's say i want to use a parameter this time so i want to pass a value uh, through this pointer p um, for this example what i will do is the initial value of count uh, instead of it starting from zero i want it to start from let's say something else but i want to pass that value from my main function here so i will call it uh, something pass value equals to 25 and right here in my fourth parameter instead of having zero i will just use pass the address to this variable that i've just created and if i want to retrieve that value in my inside my task function i'm going to use costing because uh, since this is a parameter this is a void parameter i don't really know what kind of data i'm retrieving so i need to do a costing on the data and uh, i'm going to use p so what's going to happen is i'm going to pass this value 25 into count through the fourth parameter and let's see how that works so i will build this and let's clear that okay so there you go it starts with 25 then 26 then 27 so i've passed my initial value here let's say um once it starts from 25 and one and it reaches the value of 30 i want to delete the task uh, so to delete a task um i use a function called retask delete so let me set my condition here if count is let's say equal to equal to 31 or let's just keep it 30 um retask delete and uh, inside my VTOS delete, I need to pass the handler, the corresponding handler of the task that I want to delete, which is going to be my task one handle. And this should delete the task once it reaches 30. I mean, it will just print only 29, and then once it reaches 30, it will just delete the task. So let's see how that works. So 25, 26, 27. 28, 29, and then that's it. it stops running because the task has been deleted. So, this is how you create a task and delete your task in free autos.